Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing filming people in Thailand without consent. I want to preface this video by saying this is kind of an opinion piece in the sense of a personal bunch of observations. Uh, we do go into talking about some legal. Uh, we cite some laws here. Uh, I have had the Thai legal team in the office here. We've, we've all gone over this, uh, had this vetted. To be clear, I'm not a Thai attorney. I'm an American attorney. I'm a naturalized Thai citizen. I'm the managing director of the firm, but I have had the Thai attorneys have a look at this. Uh, and I kind of look at it from a comparative law standpoint as well. But the, the, the reason for this topic, and I, I further would preface this by saying, we're not talking about filming people in Thailand sort of, for lack of a better term, inadvertently or just in the course of dealing with one's own filming, whatever that may be. And further, I, we're also not talking about like movie filming. You know, that's a different, that's a different thing. What we're more talking about is uh, this phenomenon, and I've noticed it has been increasingly pervasive. You know, when I first got out here some 13, 14, 14 years ago, the, you know, the, we just didn't see this where people, you know, and now there's a camera attached to everything, phones, iPads, i this, i that, you know, the, everything has a camera on it. And, but people were not filming people in Thailand, especially Bangkok or down at the, you know, the resorts areas, just, just filming sort of wantonly all the time, just ubiquitously, for lack of a better term. And I, I'm not trying to be curmudgeon -y here and, you know, have a problem with people that are taking videos for, you know, to send home to people or photos or selfies or any of that, or even... Even YouTube, and you know, or folks that are streaming on Facebook, or you know, doing any of that type of thing, I'm I'm more talking about people that like just kind of overtly film, or sometimes covertly film, you know, and and just seem to do it. And also, we're talking about this in the context possibly of video calls and things. This just wasn't around 10, 12 years ago. And look, the the law does not you know, evolve to pick up the newest. They, it looks backwards. The law always looks backwards. It's not forward-looking. Technology has moved very quickly, and arguably Thai law has not come around to fully sort of uh, answer the nuances on this overall question of filming people without their permission. But what I'm talking about is, is you know, when people are in, you know, the major entertainment areas or, you know, and I'm not talking about anything untoward, but just, you know, outdoor dining and things. I I've really noticed in the past, and, and it might be a result of folks having been, you know, in quarantine for prolonged periods of time. They did a lot of video calling people during that time period. And so this has become kind of more normalized, for lack of a better term. And, they, and folks just think, oh, that's okay. I can do that out and about. You know, my thing is, again, if it's, if it's just sort of, you do a video call to someone and then you're done and, and, and whatnot, okay. And, and somebody happens to get picked up in the background, or you know, you do a quick panorama of a view to send to somebody, you know, via messenger service, you know, and it picks up somebody that's just happens to be there. That that's not what we mean when we were looking at this. What we're talking about is, and it seems to be increasingly prevalent in this sort of environment where you know a lot of people have online presences that involve video streaming, etc., or they're video calling folks. You know, but the long and the short of it is, you know, and I, I kind of can get a little adamant about this. I, I don't particularly want to be in your video chat with, you know, your loved one or your friend or whatever who's however far away. I, I don't really love the notion of being in the background. Again, if I fall in the background sort of inadvertently, I'm not freaked out by every camera I see, but to, to do it in a prolonged manner... Um, I, I, it, it's just something that, that I, I've seen it a lot recently, actually, and some people have asked me about it, too, and, and so we decided to go ahead and make this video. Is, you know, and let's be clear, you know, the Thai law does not overtly say, no, you cannot videotape people you know, out and about, but there are some laws that seem to pertain to the issue of, for lack of a better term, getting into other people's, you know, space or, or getting into their, you know, filming them without permission in a way is kind of getting into their space. You know, the, there's the old adage that, you know, your rights end at my front door kind of thing. I mean, 
in a sense, your rights end at the superficies of my visage, the, you know, at the surface of my face is where your right to film anything you ever want to kind of ends. And again, not talking about this in a, in a reactionary manner with, oh, you took a frame of me, no. Uh, or you inadvertently picked me up when you were walking around with your selfie stick, no. I'm talking about, when we're talking about sort of prolonged filming, knowing all, you know, and, 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 or moreover, when asked to stop, is, is there any, you know, legal reason why people should stop if they are asked to stop filming, folks? So, um, I'm going to go ahead, we, like I said, I'm not a Thai attorney, this is for informational purposes only. Uh, these are English language translations of relevant Thai law. So they should not be viewed as dispositive. This is just for informational purposes, but some information that we thought was rather relevant to the overall topic. Uh, you know, and again, we're talking really about where it, it, it really becomes unreasonable, where, you know, again, not just a little bit of filming or not just say hey, someone was filming, you asked them to stop, they stopped. I think that it's, you know, if you're on their video for a second, whatever, and they stopped, I, I don't think that that's a big deal. But where folks are kind of, ambivalent or uncooperative about stopping their filming, and I've seen this in situations, you know, recently and over the course of the past few months, you know, th that's kind of what we're talking about in the context of this video. So, uh, first, the first section of segment of law that, that my colleagues and I found interesting came from the Personal Data Protection Act, VE 2562. Section 19, paragraph one, the data controller shall not collect, use, or disclose personal data unless the data subject, that's the person whose data is being taken, one could, maybe a little bit of a stretch, but one could say, you know, the person whose likeness data is being taken, has given consent prior to or at the time of such collection. Use or disclosure except, the, except in the case where it is permitted to do so by the provisions of the act or any other laws. So again, bit of a stretch on the Personal Data Protection Act, but moving to the criminal code, quoting directly from section 397, whoever in a public place or before the public does by any means whatever to annoy or intimidate, annoy or intimidate, there was a little bit of nuance on the notion of intimidate. Bully was kind of bandied about, so intimidate or bully, but intimidate in the English language, I think we thought kind of summed it up. Another person, or, or, these are all ors, okay? It's not and, this isn't taken as a whole. Any one of these things could be construed as a problem. Or causes the other person to be ashamed or troubled. Shall be punished with imprisonment not exceeding one month or fine not exceeding 5,000 baht or both. So again, section 397, quoting directly, whoever in a public place or before the public does by any means whatever to annoy or intimidate another person or causes the other person to be ashamed or troubled shall be punished with imprisonment not exceeding one month or fine not exceeding 5,000 baht or both. So again, uh, th this video isn't really being taken to sort of, you know, call anyone out. It's more taken as a warning. You know, if somebody comes up to you and says, hey, you've been filming a while, I don't know what you're doing, but can you stop? and you don't, you could have real problems, even in a criminal context in Thailand. Again, it might be a stretch. It's all going to be fact dependent. This is not to be viewed as a dispositive video on the topic in general, but just some insight into, you know, some problems that can come from filming people without consent in the Kingdom of Thailand. 